All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. Ten new brews, five five new brews. Obviously, Shadows of Renishar Remasters and a complete set. Uh, so we're doing five plus five brews. Yesterday was five historic brews. Today is five explorer brews as we kind of explore this new slash old set. Uh, obviously, the rematch sets are a little weird on Arena because, like, these are all cards that are already in Pioneer. So the Explorer one's a little weird because, like, these are all cards that have been legal in Pioneer. They aren't, like, new to the format in any way. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to brew anyway. Have a little fun. Sick. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. First up on the docket is Zambies. That's right. Zombies, of course, was a huge deck in standard back in the day. And there are a lot of good zombie tools in the format. Uh, you got Champion of the Perished. Uh, honestly, one of the best tribal one drops ever, but just doesn't really have the support like the human cards do. Crypt Breaker's insane. I freaking love this card. Tap it and draw cards. We got Dread Wanderer. We got Razor Lash, Transmorgo, whatever. Card seeing play in standard. Pretty solid, pretty solid card. It's also a zombie too. Jadar makes tokens. Weaver makes tokens. Uh, we got Colossus here, one of the big additions from, uh, I guess actually it was already on Arena because of the jumpstart thing. Whatever. Lord of the Accursed. Murder Strider. Most importantly, we have Glissa Sun, Sun Slayer, um, uh, which is awesome, obviously, being a zombie and an elf and a Phyrexian. The card is really, really good. It's good to have some some high-quality cards in your deck, in your tribal deck, that are just good by themselves. Four Company, obviously great. Dark Salvation, a new... That was, that was a new either, actually. Is I don't know what to do with these releases, honestly. Because the thing is that they keep releasing a lot of these cards in other things, in, like, anthologies and stuff. So when the set actually comes out, like, all the cards aren't even new. But whatever. We're good. Uh, Matt is great. Collect company. Thoughts these. Get the idea. That's the deck. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff in stock. All right, let's go. Chat coming at me. We're playing all five Explorer Brews today. Pretty awkward hand, obviously. Double Blade. But we're going to keep any land here would be, uh, would be good. That's not land. Play Crypt Breaker and say go. Obviously, we draw a land. We can go Reaver and draw a card immediately, which is pretty sweet. If we don't, that sucks. But Seder Wayfinder. So our opponent is Grease Fanging, which is uh, going to be really good against us, honestly, because we are... Not playing much in speed removal in our main deck. And they, they hit the freaking chair thing, too. All right. Well, I guess we're dead. Um, we, don't, we didn't draw a, a land that can uh, cast a spell. If they have Grease Fang here, we just have to turn three, turn, turn three on the play. All right, cool. Fun game. Thanks for playing. Next game. All right. Uh, we're going to look into our sideboard and honestly not see that much. We have Thoughtseize and Fatal Push. Um, Salvation's way too slow. Gotta cut some of the grindier cards. Honestly, the Lord is kind of whatever. Bring in... Fatal Push isn't actually very good here. Uh, we probably would want to have... Maybe, Ra we, should have, maybe we should have some Raven Feeblements, honestly. Uh, let's bring in four Thoughtseize. Fortunately, Thoughtseize is the only real uh, interaction we have against them. Uh, Reaver, Fatal Push, Vengeance, Masked Vandal. Uh, yeah, obviously uh, our sideboard is not very well built for this matchup, but that's, you know, it's, it's a new brew. I literally just built it, so. Um, Masked Vandal's interesting, but not great. You know, we could, like, in theory, like, company into it if they, they, they go off. Horror resub month, every month, month. Thanks, appreciate it. Um... I also want to be aggressive against them. Yeah, this is probably a pretty hard matchup, honestly. We just don't really have the interaction we need. But I'll just bring another uh, aggressive creature and just call it. Try our best. Yeah, it's kind of weird because, like, a lot of the decks in Explorer slash Pioneer, like, most I think specifically Grease Fang and Mono Green Devotion are, like, so punishing to bruise, but not the best decks in the format by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, both did. I actually, Grease Fang did well at the Pro Tour because it was, like, under... People were people like, kind of forgot about it, but historically, it just hasn't done very well. Uh, and, um... But, like, they're so punishing to bruise. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a weird dichotomy or whatever. Alright, so... Dread Wanderers here. They're gonna... 
They brought in Duress against my creature deck. Alright, sure, I guess. I mean, you got me, you hit, so... What can I say? Alright. Lay in the beats. Wayfinder? Are they going to hit the uh, Power Helion again? This time they're not, thankfully. They had the Stone Cold Nuts last game, you know. Just hit the Power Helion, yada, yada, yada. But... Alright, we dropped a Seiju, which actually plays pretty well. But Seiju can, um... Can, uh, kill the Power Helion for, like, a turn to delay it. Obviously, that's great, but... Alright, I mean, hands like right here. What are you gonna do? Company next turn. Thoughtseize. Alright. Well. What we'll else some spells, please? Attack for one. Get out of your mind. Attack for one. What do you think this is? Huh? Thoughtseize. Alright, attack. Why would you ever attack there? What a what a heinous attack. Alright, Thoughtseize you. And we see Evolution, another Thought Seize, and three lands. Their, their hand's terrible, too, at least. So, it's always that. Their hand is land, 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 Thought Seize. Professor of Symbology. That is a way to discard a card and draw a card. That seems much worse than, uh... I mean, not actually. It seems worse than the, uh... Rafine's Informant, because obviously they can just, like, learn, too. They're just gonna loot. Alright. Sure. Interesting little Grease Fang list here. Play land. And both these return, which is pretty sweet, so. We draw a champion of the perished. Tag of both. Alright, so we get to just do everything here, right? We got two, one. We. This costs two, this costs three. Playing champion first is two, yeah, whatever. Just do, just do these things. So play this. Coming right back. You're up. Lethal on board. Thought season hand. We go into game three here. No. I guess, like, we just recur it anyway. It isn't even that bad. So, attack for two. It's actually pretty insane. Reaver. Champion. I guess we just play this on their turn. So, pump some things up and say go. Zombie, zombie, Gang. zombie, blouses. Bear. Bear. Waka, waka. All right. Um, as salvation mentions, that was a pretty bad hand, but I mean, their deck has a pretty high, uh, high fail rate too. So I right, just run it back. I mean, I think we're a big dog here on the draw, honestly. But what else can we do? You know, like scrappy, crappy zombies. What's up, Connor? In your hand, in your hand. All right. Uh, I mean, I can't mulligan this hand. Two drop, three drop company. I, we're, we're probably gonna get crushed, but whatever. Let's keep. Tap land, go. Is there a clue deck? Uh, nah, no clue deck. What's up, Joby? Appreciate it. Thanks for resub. Discarding a chariot. We draw Thoughtseize. Interesting. So you can Reaver or Thoughtseize here. I think I'm on Thoughtseize. Try and hit the, uh, the Grease Fan they got in hand. Double Grease. <laughs> nice Thoughtseize, idiot. Alright. Um. That's okay, honestly. It's obviously a power, uh, a chariot, not a power helion. So it's it is really good, but eh, we're probably in trouble. Honestly, this is pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I mean, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Two grease fangs, bounce the thing. We draw another land. I mean, Colossus is currently at two two. Whenever you cast a zombie, that's not work for company. We're like already dead on board. <laughs> like, like we're actually just dead already, right? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, yeah. Pretty fun first match there. Uh, that's Grease Fang for you, though. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. If I already had Grease Fang, Pip. I. what about second Grease Fang? Nerd! Uh, yeah, sure. I don't love it, but... 
Zambies. Zambies. Zombies are all greased up and ready to go. Go ahead, kill it. Go ahead, kill it. I don't care. Try it. Razor Lash Transmorgorant. Yeah, I really wanted to build an LD Fiend deck, like, really, really bad. I just couldn't put one together. There's maybe, like, a zombie version of it, but I don't know. I do freaking love LD Fiend. All right, so Reaver. I'm just going to cast this uh, Colossus in 3-3s. Three they can't stomp it, and they can't push it, so make some zombies. So, gotta have go for the throat or some way to kill this Colossus, so we're gonna untap and make some Zambies. Morning, folks! Good morning! How we doing? How we doing? Happy Tuesday. Wednesday. What day is it? It's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. I got no idea what's going on. When the, when the brews come out, 10 new brews happens, everything goes crazy. Crazy. Third land. It's Wednesday, my dudes. What are you doing, opponent? It's freaking turn three. Making up for the uh, the lost time from the last match. We, last match was too fast. We got to really even things out here a little bit, you know. Just the full rope. Just says go. We draw Glissa. Glissa's pretty sweet. Um, let's attack for three. I mean, if they would, if they had a kill, so they would have killed this, right? I don't know why they would ever wait. So I don't really know what's going on, honestly. But I'd be second Colossus. Let's see what they do. What decks I've tested so far? Oh, these decks are not tested, my friends. All right, <laughs> these are brews. Five new brews built them last night up to two in the morning. They had. The, why would they wait? I don't understand. Like, what if I just played a creature? And got my token. I don't under... Sure, whatever. Right, well, whatever. They killed that. Now I'll play Glissa. So there you go. Yes, I'm doing Bronze Mythic for, uh, for this set. I'm going to start it when the ladder resets, though. So I'm going to start it at the beginning of next month. Let me make sure I give myself ample time. I still have some emergent sponsor content to do. i got to finish up these brews. So, don't want to be uh, killing myself. So... Sai says, when it was in standard, I played an LDD fiend deck with prize amalgams and the recurring zombies that require discard cards. Yep, that was that was the uh God, son of a bitch. Uh yeah, that was insane. I also played the deck a lot. It was the hardest deck I've ever played. Uh alright, so we're gonna play a 5-5 Colossus now. And play this tapped, let's see go. They had two kill spells that can kill a 3-3 three, three, three mana creature. Which is pretty crazy, actually. Blood Scythe Harvester. Make a blood. Draw lands. We can go Razor Lash and Reaver. We also have the Murderous Rider too. We have a 5-5 five, five Colossus. Uh, start casting stuff, right? Make a token. That's fun. Make a land. Um, if I attack and they block and stomp, it kind of sucks. But I think it's fine if we just play more things, too. Zombie! I poor Glissa. I raise your got three cards in hand, too. Make it a zombie, make a token, make a token. Do we attack is the big question. Do we send in the Colossus? I guess we're, like, out of zombies at this point. Yeah, whatever. If they want to use a stomp and then the, and the harvester to kill by the Colossus, I think it's fine. I think it's let us work. All right, and awesome. Five damage. Your turn. Draw a card. Ingrats rampage and power word kill. Three basics. That seems so hard for this Rakdos deck to have six lands in play and have three basics. It's ridiculous. We need four basics, not basics for our opponent to make this thing into a two mana recursion. Well, honestly, we should draw land and bring it back that way too, so. 
I think we're mostly happy during land. Oh wow, I love, love love this. The main phase bank buster. Good sign. And Shelly. Well, it'd be a damn shame something happened to that, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Get off my plane. Get the hell out of here. Drop return. It's a Bosejo. They're gonna sack a treasure. I don't understand. This is the second time I've done this now. What if I just cast a zombie and I would get a free token? Just kill it on your turn. I don't get it. I don't understand what they're doing. Uh, sure. All right, move to combat. Here comes the three one and the two two and the two two. And you get a land murder strider too. Bo say Joe, boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew, block the transmorgo, whatever thingy. So obviously, if they, if they play a land, we get to bring back both of them. And if they don't, we should bring them back for six, just fine also. All right, play this, play this, your turn. Tilt. All right, that sucks. Uh. It's a 3-3 three, three also. That kind of stymies the beats here a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Which are company. Oh, boy. So, we want to get this. Oh, oh, they put a land. They put a land. Bingo. Now I can do both. All right. Um, the question is, do I just... I mean, obviously, I have lords in my deck. Do I try and use this in combat? Do I just, like, wait and do another turn? I don't want to go to knight, I guess. Oh, let's cast this. Whatever. Let's cast it now. We could, like, attack first and, like, try and hit some lords and make their blocks bad. But whatever. We hit Champion, Cryptbreaker, awesome. Obviously, not great to hit two one-drops, but uh, this one's great, and this one's great too, so. All right, we'll just let go here. We have two card draws. We have a Razor Lash coming back. Um, don't want to draw a card. Now let's draw a card first, actually. Let's go one, two, three, draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, Zombiemon. Reaver, sure. We'll just say go. Can bring this thing back. So I don't get eaten by this. That's fun. If we wait, it goes to night and like, you know, just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it. Also could have, could have good attacks there too if we hit lords. So, now this card's great. Yeah, two mana instant speed return is uh, pretty awesome. Being a four two is awesome too. Well sized. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Ten new brews. You're gonna attack. Uh, I mean, obviously they target this. We just all right. So just gonna return it and fizzle the ability, which is cool. We go zombie grow. Just firing for a good block. This all looks pretty good. Draw a card of my Crypt Breaker. I, I freaking, I love Crypt Breaker. Me and Crypt Breaker get along real well. One mana, drawn cards. Jadar, honorary zombie. Right to the bottom. They're at 14 and our board is great. Champion's great, card's so good. Oh man, we're doing it. All right, so let's go Reaver. And draw again. A pump pump. It's gonna actually it's just gonna grow our zombie army, not making a token. Which is fine, I guess, but tap one, two, three. They do have the uh the hive to block with. Comes and tapped, grows the champion. Um one, two, three, four, yes. Yeah. So we can just send in the champion of the parish, I guess. Just draw another card, I guess. Right, we're at 14. Should sure, sorry, I was going to attack, too. Well, never mind. We shouldn't do that. We should attack with the two biggins. Send in the biggins.
You get to go fire up the hive. Awesome. Trip breaker, the only new card. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know if there's any new cards in this deck. <laughs> Obviously, a bunch of the cards are in Innistrad Remastered, but so many of them were in anthologies and stuff that I don't know if this deck wasn't playable before the set released. Now that I'm like thinking about it. What happened? I didn't even was, what what? We have technology. I never even clicked the blockers. It just did it. You freaking bastard. Alright, whatever. Um play land, play this. Yeah. Make a token, so you go. Since I was like looking at other things, it like just auto clicked it for, I don't even know. Whatever. I think we're fine. I think we're gonna be alright here, personally. Ted says, first time stream watcher, long time YouTube watcher. Keep it up, Jim. Most entertaining magic player in the community. Aww. Thanks, friend. Appreciate it. The full deck wasn't arena before. God. Jim can't even do 10 new brews right. That's honestly a big issue, too. And I want everyone to who said, you know, um, they should just do the, they, should, they could do the whole format in three anthologies if they just printed all the important cards for Pioneer. That's why you can't do this. Because the more cards you print, you make the the remastered set releases not worthless, but much less exciting. And we need these releases to get this is the home, like actual commons. And we need a format, right? Things. You can't just like print the top 10 decks and have that be it. Because that's not a format, that's just the top 10 decks. The whole fun of Magic is brewing up new decks, finding new, new cards and so on and so forth. Uh, and you can't do that in the scenario where you're only printing the good cards. You have to print the whole set, but then the whole, it, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a, a complicated roadmap. I wouldn't be surprised if they just like release one of those historic horizons things. They're just dead, right? Oh, whatever. Probably dead. We'll figure it out. Um, we're like, just like print a bunch of cards into a, into, into a jumpstart thing and like go from there. Cause a lot of these cards, like the, the, uh, let's see. Dark Salvation was in a jumpstart. Um, Digraph Colossus was in a jump start. Lord of the Curse was not, but it's a thing. All right, so let's bring in the Pelucranos, the Razor Lash. Let's cut some of the Lords, probably. It's funny, is Mass Vandal play? Uh, I think they have Bankbuster and. I'm gonna bring in one Mask Vandal. Let's try this. They have Bankbuster and Fable, so. Kerbaker is also a jump start. Pelucranos, the zombie folks. This set, this set added to Pioneer. Not it didn't add to Pioneer. It added to Explorer in the 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 path to making Explorer into Pioneer. And there's also a special sheet, like a retro artifact mystical archive sheet as well, uh, of old Innistrad cards, which are which are old, which are new to Stork. So Snapcaster Mage, Lingering Souls, Grizzle Brand. That was yesterday. We played Stork, and that's really fun. I love I love adding cards to a Stork. Pelucranos is a zombie. Crypt Breaker in Historic Anthology 1. Yeah, there you go. Pelucranus. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that hand. Woo! Perfect. Right, we're going to mulligan. Sure. This is good. Keep this. Ship the Vandal. I mean, pretty good hand as far as six card hands go. Don't thought seize me, please. Writhing Necromass? Yeah, that would be a totally different... I think you could build some sort of, like, zombie graveyard deck, maybe. But... And it's funny, because, like, I, I kind of... I, I I had built this deck already. And then last night, I was, like, in the Elder Deep Fiend tank for, like, an hour. Trying to figure out how to make a playable Elder Deep Fiend deck. And... I just couldn't do it. I came to, like, maybe a, a, a blue-black zombie deck... But at that point, I already had a zombie deck, and I was like, eh, whatever, I have a zombie deck. I can't really play Reaver, I guess, try to draw, but I think it's fine. Glissa, also a zombie. Here's Fable. Alright. Um, we can Glissa, we can also Reaver and just draw. It's like, maybe we should have Reaver drawed last turn. I think Applying Pressure is pretty good. Um, if they Glissa, they have to have a kill spell that can kill it, which they might not. Then play Glissa, do we attack or not? I kind of want to keep attacking, so... I'm going to... Let's do this. I'm going to play Reaver. I'm going to draw a card. Definitely want to keep applying pressure. 
Can I draw one drop? You did not draw one drop. It was a good draw, though. So Elder Deep Fiend's a nut. I freaking love Elder Deep Fiend. I don't know what Elder Deep Fiend is. Look it up. Deep Fried Fish. Deep Fried Octopus, actually. All right, here's Fable. Do a land company. And the strong bad and the emails. All right. Here comes Goblin Shaman. Take two. I mean, they're at 14. I got a pretty good board. Company in hand, Glissa in hand, fourth land in hand. Sorry. Right. They kill the creature that recurs, and then two other cards, which is fine. So we draw land. So we're going to go company on their end step. We have Razor Lash now, too, but sure. the reaver wow okay that's funny so they're they're playing around me recurring it but like i just obviously have company so if they targeted it i've had a real hard choice to make but i have an easy choice so sweet so you target this like so i can just recur it response but like i just obviously have company so i want to cast company instead so like they could have forced me to either choose between doing this or company all right we get crypt breaker and colossus i guess i punted i should have done that in response to the uh yeah i screwed up I should have I should have accompanied in response to the ability on the trespasser. That's my bad. I'm gonna kill this thing too. Ah, revolted fatal push, huh? Well, now I can uh, play Glissa and Razor Lash. It's pretty gas. So let's do this. Play Glissa, and then I'm gonna do this now because they could copy it in response and get it. So they have an active fable now, which sucks, but. Now I can draw, I draw cards too, so it's gonna be interesting. They've got three cards in hand. Oh my god. Alright. Well, yeah, that might do it. Um, pretty dumb. So Glissa's dead, draw a card. They're gonna kill the Crypt Breaker, not the Glissa. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Draw a card. More Razor Lashes. I mean, it's a pretty good attack next turn, honestly. Unless they have a push in their hand, too. Eat something, gain a life. Must have pushed you, right? They have Thoughtseize. I wish I thought he's first, you know? Just saying. Take the Reaver. We draw Dark Salvation. Oh, it's raining Helix! Oh my god! Alright. Um, sweet. Let's attack. It was a Kanky Reflection. Oh, they're gonna let me do it? Nope, they didn't realize it. Wait. They should I let it happen? Wow. Get off my plane. Lissa is something else. One eye and fat cards. This, this pet print that's he playing Pioneer. Um, Traverse the Walls. Uh, Spell Queller. There's a bunch. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But all right, we're going to crank this Dark Salvation and discard the Razor Lash to the Trespasser, I think. So X equals two. And then Target Player creates X Zombies. And then we kill this, I am sure. I'm gonna pay it. I'm gonna discard my Razor Lash. All right, looking pretty good. Four to zero, four to one creature advantage. Razor Lash in the bin. This is going. Another Razor Lash here. They're gonna kill my Glissa, fun. Play Den of the Bugbear. No extinction event, please. Right. Uh, are you 
dead? <laughs> Bone Crusher Giant. Sure, you got it. Alright. I think we're, uh... I think we're in pretty good shape here. We got... Razor Lash, Razor Lash, Token, Token, Hive, and they're at three, and I'm at nine. Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. Oh, we all come into town, folks. Come back. Ah, our hero returns. Come back. Ah, our hero returns. Unsap. Hive me. Can I hear y'all, please? Can I? Can I hear? Can I? Hear? Alright, that was better than the first match, that's for sure. Boom! On the play. One drop, two drop, Glissa. Keep. Oh, we have the, the freaking death clap gating. Maybe I've played too many of these. Um, yeah, probably. Am I ever gonna play StarCraft? I mean, I would like to play StarCraft, but I have to play Magic and work and stuff, you know? Untap land, please. That'll do. That'll do. Bosejo. Canyon Slew? Who plays Canyon Slew? Ooh. What is this? Grixis. Grix, Grixis somethings. Uh, I'm going to attack by Glissa. I'm just going to really force the issue, I think. Just don't have, like, main deck Anger the Gods, something like that, because that would suck. Lightning. Lightning. Waka waka. What's up? Double uh, tap land. Bone crusher giant. Oh, Glissa's in, folks. Glissa is in. Wait, what? Lotus field? What's the? What now? Huh? What? All right. Grixis Lotus Field. What is the... What's the deal here? What's up, my guy? First time shout here for my guy. So if you're sitting in, folks, it is 10 new brews, which is actually 5 plus 5 new brews. Uh, we did 5 historic brews today. Doing 5 explorer dude. 5 historic brews yesterday. Uh, and then 5 explorer brews today. That is the plan. That's what we're doing. Blood Sun Lotus Field. I can see that. Makes sense, I guess. Just no, uh, I guess Lotus Field's good against uh, Razor Lash, right? <laughs> you just sack all your lands. We're on the first deck of five today. Again, we did five historic decks yesterday. This will all be going up on YouTube, and I'll be alternating them each other day. Kiora, what is happening? This is cool. Untap Lotus Field. Busted. YouTube will be going up. Uh, the first historic video goes up today, and the they'll be alternating every other day for the next ten days. All right, you got me. Kiora, it's free. Bone Crusher Giant, sure. Um, another Razor Lash. I'm just gonna Lord attack here. I am Lord. Make a zombie. All right, so we just attack them because they're at eight. So attack. They have to block a four. They block Glissa and go to one. All right. I mean. They can play a lot of stuff this turn. Uh, they have three, six, seven, they have eight mana. Obviously, our hand is pretty good, but... I mean, I had a cool deck I called Fishy Grixis back in Standard when Kiora and Nicol Bolas Dragon God were in Standard. That deck was gas. Fishy Grixis. Go look it up on YouTube. All right, so some sort of weird Grixis deck. Let's uh, let's bring in a Razor Lash. I mean, the Reaver kills Planeswalkers, right? Bring that one in. I'm going to shave a Lord, so I got a Massive Will probably, post-board. And the question is, do I want Thoughtseize or not? I mean, they have Bone Crusher. Probably want Thoughtseize, right? Just cut the Salvations, because I don't play many creatures. Bring in, like, three Thoughtseize, and we'll shave... I don't know, just shave a creature. 
some shit with Jadar, I guess. Sure. So we're on... We're still on 30 creatures, which is great, so... This is fine. Let's try this. What's a new card in this deck? Um... That's it. I'm going to clone college. There actually aren't any. <laughs> there are a ton of cards from, from Shadows of Rennestrad and Eldritch Moon in this deck, but they were already in the format. I didn't realize that when I built it. So, I'm sorry, alright? I failed at my job. I was only up till 2 a.m. last night building these decks for y'all. And, uh... I... Apparently I screwed up. <laughs> but, what do you want from me? Gravecrawler is not an arena. Gravecrawler is also not in, uh... In Explorer slash Pioneer. I'm a scammer, I know. I'm a fraud. I'm a faker. I'm a faker baloney. Um... Yeah, sorry. I'm a joker. I'm a... Magic Midnight Tech Builder. I... Alright, so here's Fable. Um, I have the Eye Tyrant. Let's just draw. Draw. Champion. Alright, that's fun. Play Champion, play Lands, they go. Their hand's a little better for this game, so I don't know what this Foretell card is. Probably not Doomscar, right? Could be. Title only promises new brews, does not promise new cards of these brews, correct, actually. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have, like, you know, Glissa, Razor Lash, or are, are, are kind of new cards also. So, I, what do you want from me, right? I screwed up. I, trust me, there's plenty of fun stuff coming. So, I'd start with the simple deck. We've got, Gris, we're melding Grisella and Bruna. We're freaking, uh, we're casting Emrakul, Promised End. We're getting Delirium. We're doing lots of cool stuff today, right? Start off with the, uh, the simple one to kind of get my uh, myself woke up. Opinion on Ottawa Senators and why are they winning the cup? I'll take that bet. I think Fortel is a fair, failed mechanic. Um, it's a weird mechanic. It plays very awkwardly in paper. It has a similar problem to Morph, where like only a few cards are playable. So you kind of always, almost always know what it is. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Here's Fortel. They have Kiora. We'll hold the multiverse. Cure's right. on six, so we uh, we could possibly kill Cure's turn. Overgrown. What do y'all think? What does everyone think of uh, think of Fortel's mechanic? I wish I go land company here. Main phase it and see what we get. Glissa champion Reaver actually is gas. Looks like a token to kill this Cure. Look at this thing. Graph Reaver exploit. Exploit a creature and destroy target planes. So let's get the Reaver and the Glissa. They got they have four cards. A lot of cards left, but like we could get Razor Lash to be a little more versatile against removal. But nah, let's get these two. Get these two. Let's exploit the token. Destroy Planeswalker. Get out of here. You like fish sticks? How different does 10 new brews feel outside of early access? It's obviously different. Uh, that's why I'm calling it 5 plus 5 brews. It's obviously a little bit different feel. We're not playing on the early access server and so on and so forth, but it's still fun to do, uh, still fun to do new, decks, new decks and stuff. Mono white horses. We played a horses deck on stream once. The YouTube video is out there. Alright, so that was a argument towards getting a... Uh, oops. Towards getting a uh, the Razor Lash, but... Now I draw a thousand lands. It's not cool. All right, so we're a little uh, in trouble here, honestly. All right, so we have land, land, land. We have a hive also, which is, I guess, kind of cool. Relentless Dead just is not a good magic card. Uh, it is extremely slow. It dies to everything. Uh, it's very clunky. It's very hard to mad up for it. You know, is it playable in standard? Sure. Is it playable in older formats? No, not at all. Alright, they're just gonna say go. I should probably kill this castle by I probably should have saved with the castle, actually. I think I screwed up, but Alright, I'm gonna try and Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna just attack and kill the castle. They have a lot of cards in hand, so I think it's likely if I activate the hive, they'll just kill it. And I think killing castle right now and they uh, we're at kind of a stale board state is reasonable, so play this and say go, I'll see if they use castle or not. Do they have any basics? Um, probably. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Besage, besage, this, this also gets uh, the dual lands too. So, Valakit Awakening. Right. Very weird deck. Like, what are they up to exactly? You know. Right, Trying to kill this. Right, they find they get, they get a triome. They have a lot of mana. Uh, three, four, five, six. They have seven, eight mana this turn. And obviously, they have all lands, but let's see what happens. All right, just saw that coming. Obviously, so it's kind of funny. This this reminds me a lot of a deck that I built a few years ago in Standard. I called it Fishy Grixis, and it was like Grixis, Kiora, Nickel Balls, the Ravager deck. It's pretty fun. Yeah, Nickel Balls is very good when you have a lot of mana in play and your opponent has nothing. So, draw another Graph Reaver. This is, ah, it, it will be a Planeswalker, right? That's funny. All right. Uh, I'm going to attempt to hive them. People love Nickel Balls, let me tell you. Can I hive? Mike finds the link for Fishy Grixis. Look at this. All right. Look at the what old arena friends? back in the day. Yeah. There it is, Fishy Grixis. Sarkin the Master. Oh yeah, Sarkin plus Kiora was awesome. You Kiora on three, and then you cast Sarkin on turn four, make a four four and draw a card. That was awesome. All right, so we're going to draw two, deal 10, put a creature, finds Walker, graveyard on the battlefield. All right, so yeah, we'll just say no attacks. Just end the turn. Three, four, five, six. So they're one short of flipping. We actually want them to flip because we have the Reaver, obviously. What's the symbol on the bottom here? Uh, a mass, I guess. Upkeep. Doesn't this have menace? No. Is Salinity good at all as a sideboard card? Why would it be? All right, we're going to try and attack. They have four lands for Rachel Ash, pretty sweet, so. Yeah, what would you want it for, like? What is this <laughs> So they're playing sort of like the the blue white Lotus Field control deck, but they're playing it as a as a a Grixis deck. The Scarab God? What can one do against such reckless Scarab Godding? Alright, let's draw a card, I guess. I think we're dead here, folks. I'm gonna get a game three. Um, Alright, you got me. You got me. Next game. That's a zombie too, right? I'm sorry, it, it, it makes zombies. It's not a zombie itself. Alright, so... Uh-oh. Technology. You hear that? You hear the little zappies? We got a sound bug? Cool. Alright, um... I think I'm about the fourth on C's, actually. I'm gonna shave... Shave, uh... Zip, zip, zip. Shave Reaver, I guess. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. Zap Mercado. The exploit sound bug. Sounds like Electro in Marvel Snap. Alright, on the play. Oh, this hand's so bad. We're gonna keep. I can't mulligan it. We should play everything as a 3 3. This is an old school magic card. A 3-3 three, three for 2 with a drawback. Ley line of the Void? That's, like, annoying. You know, it, it has some utility against our cards, but I don't think I mind them mulliganing, honestly. Alright, go get him, buddy. 1-3-3. Three, three. Coming in. Uh, no, thank you. No sex. They freaking love their tap lands, too. Colossus. Speaking of model snap. Mm. 
Uh, go for the throw. That's a good sign, actually, because that means they're not going to play a super, probably, so. They have a Lotus Fields? They have a Lotus Fields, sure. They are playing all the hits. Yeah, they're just playing Grixis fun time. Grixis happy fun times. All right. Here's a Colossus. Tie for three. They have a super here. We're kind of in trouble, but what are you going to do? Blood Sun. They're doing it. So Blood Sun, of course, turns off the ETB stack ability on Lotus Field. So they have another Lotus Field here. They do not. The slew comes in untapped, though. They're doing it. All right, attack for five. The question, Raymond, is do we shove all in here or not? Um, I think I like playing Reaver. We'll hold the Colossus, I guess. Yes, Bronze Mythic for Innistrad will happen uh, starting the beginning of next month. Uh, it's early of 22nd. I have to do 10 new brews. I have to do more emergent sponsored content as well as a video. So I want to make sure I have time. So I'll be starting it uh, beginning next month when the ladder resets. Damn it! All right, more zombies. I was in tap, unfortunately, but I can't make a lot of bigger because I, no, I have no graveyard. So you're doing it, Peter. That's going on the soundboard for sure. Definitely on the list of things to go on the soundboard. Valakut Stoneforge comes in. That's why they're playing all the tap lands. Because they just want to get the value of having Blood Sun in play and having them all come in untapped. That's that's the whole point of their deck, I think. Here's the rat. Oh, shit! That sucks. Uh, maybe I should have held a card there. All right. Let's draw. Help me out here, please. Come on! Somebody's playing a prank on me. Killing me. Killing me. Just trying to play some Zambies. Blood Sun number two. Okay. Animation was cool. Remember animations, folks? Pepper's Farm numbers. That tastes like promotion? What? Not 12. Draw this. I think I want to draw a card here. I can always discard the land and make it 2 2. Take a bolt of these, discard it by Wanderer. That's how I better, actually. Oh shit, screwed up. God, I should have the first. Now they're going to trade. I. God. Damn it. That's it. I'm going to close. Beast Cold Quest, yep. Alright, I'm not going to attack. I screwed up. Uh, I'm just going to draw a card. I want to get Token up this too, so I screwed up. Um, draw another land. God, you are killing me here. Just killing me. Let's take go. Discard another Blood Sun. Sure. They have eleven men of a turn. Uh, all right. I mean, yeah, we're, we're doing stuff. Look how they mess with my boy. Oh, okay. It's Ulamog. <laughs> Good for them. You know, good for them. They're they're living their best life. They're having a great time. I, I hope this is their, their match for Mythic, too. Just casting Ulamog in the Grixis deck. Like, whatever. Just doing it all. Oh, okay, that's a card. Probably not good enough, but gas company, and we get one Glissa. All right. Whatever. You got me. You win. I give up. I tap out. Too strong. Good for that. that that's good for them. You know, that, that, that's just good. All right, so we went one and two. Uh, we got crushed by Grease Fang. The Grixis, I don't tell about the Grixis deck, honestly. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, zombies, unfortunately, are just, like, a little too fair, I think, for the format. Uh, against decks like Grease Fang, they just don't really have enough interaction, but you have to play enough creatures to, like, you can't just play interactive spells, you know? And the the juice isn't really worth the squeeze. I would like to explore a Demir Zombies deck playing Elder Deep Fiend. Uh, but that's for another day, I think. Maybe I'll do that on Zephyr's Freshly Brood. Uh, at some point in the future, because 
Elder Deep Fiend is super sweet, and like that by playing Elder Deep Fiend, you're giving yourself some sort of competitive advantage over just like you know just playing random creatures. And this deck doesn't really have otherwise. It's just like kind of playing creatures, hoping they're good enough, and not really interacting enough. So I don't know. It's cool. It's fun. Definitely the simplest of the brews. A more exciting brews coming up. Uh, that's on stream. But YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace.